Hi, I'm Kevin, and I'm so glad to be joining you in this journey. I've spent a lot of my life teaching Sunday school, and I've been fortunate enough to preach and lead in various contexts. And I know that there are parts of that that are exciting and parts of that that are a little anxiety bringing. But what I think is always, for me, the thing to come back to is it's an opportunity to not only deeply engage in my community, but deeply engage with my own faith and my own journey. So much of what I learn about the Bible comes from what other people's interactions with the Bible is. I learn both by doing, but also by observing. And I think that ties really well into the lesson here, Encounter on the Road to Emmaus. You know, when I read this, it took me back to my childhood. I remember... When I was wrestling with my own adult baptism, I had not wanted to get baptized as early as some of my classmates in Sunday school had, and I also didn't want to wait too long. And And I remember the calm that came over me when I realized it's a journey. The Bible, and particularly the Gospels, is a story about Jesus on a journey, and it isn't Jesus has got it all figured out and ready to go at 12 when he's lost in the temple. It's the entire story, even after the resurrection. And so for this encounter on the road to Emmaus, we have the disciples who are so focused on the narrative that they expect, the one they think they're living into, that they miss that Jesus is right there with them. Jesus can't be with them. It's not possible. But it is possible because Jesus is God. Because Jesus is completing that part of Christ's journey. And that part's completion is extremely important when we dig into this material. Because what Jesus is completing is also what Jesus is beginning. And that is our part in this journey as we continue, even thousands of years later, to do the mission that God has set forth before us, knowing that Jesus was fully human is so valuable because we can be as Jesus. This is not a far off Messiah doing the military rule that was expected in that time. No, this is a Jesus among us. This is a Jesus like us. And so we are able to be like Jesus. So when you go through this, I wonder what stories do you have? What stories and narratives are pre-written in your story that keep you from thinking about where is Jesus in my life? As I wrestled with baptism, the calm came when I began this practice. I began this practice because I was, at the time, I was just learning to drive And I imagined every time I would put on my seatbelt, I would take two more seconds and imagine that I was waiting for Jesus to put on his. Because no matter where I went, I wanted to have this sense that Jesus was with me in the classroom, at practice for soccer, at church. That my Emmaus road was every day. No matter where I was going, I was going to Emmaus. And Jesus may show up in any moment. How does that dictate my behavior? How does that dictate my options? How does that dictate the way in which I live my life? This study is an opportunity for you to invite others in your community to think deeply about where have they seen Christ? Where have they missed Christ? 
How are your eyes opened and how are they closed? I hope that you're able to, in your own teaching, be vulnerable. Because vulnerability welcomes vulnerability. And what was missing in that moment on the road to Emmaus, when they didn't see Jesus, was they weren't yet ready to be vulnerable with their fears, their apprehensions, and their openness to a new story. Thank you.